Now, there's one word you should never use when you're building a model. And that word is perfect. After I said I had the perfect paint job, I completely destroyed it. Where I destroyed it and what I'm doing right now, wet sanding. This car has got some really sharp edges right here. That's why I went wrong. I went completely through the clear coat right there. Try to play it off, keep going. Maybe I can save it after I wax it up. That's what I was hoping. As soon as I applied that scratch remover, this is what I had. It's over. No matter how I try to fix it, it's over. Try to do some touch up paint. Maybe that can fix it. Nah, made it look even worse. So we back to basics and super clean for about three days. Stripped it all down. All those resources, all those man hours, all that money down the drain. But it gave me opportunity to get more practice with my airbrush. Well, it turned out pretty good. Now I'm going back in with the clear coat for a second time. Only difference is no rattle can, it's the airbrush. And after that fiasco with the paint, I was very conservative when I wet sanded. I think I only used like 3,000 and I barely touched it, it seems like. Now it's time to get some stripes on here. Fresh stripes went on without a hitch. Now I had a couple of dark spots I didn't like on that trunk. So I went in my stash box and found some rally stripes that matched up really good with those front stripes. So, I did a custom 442, even more. <laughs> and I really love the way these stripes turned out. Excellent, absolutely excellent. Now these side stripes, they gave me some problems. They remind me a whole lot of the Yinko stripes that I did on that Nova. That's really thin, really difficult to work with. Now the one on the passenger side wasn't that bad, but it was still a challenge as well. Now at this point, I'm definitely on the road to recovery. Now I won't use the P word at all because it's definitely not like the first paint job, but I like it. I do. I'm very satisfied with it. I ran out of bare metal foil, so I'm using my U marker to put my trim on. And I really like this pen a whole lot better over a Molotov pen. It seems like with the Molotov pen, the chrome that comes streaming out is way too much. But on this one, it's got a better tip on it for your applying the chrome to the body.
This is a dark blue that I'm applying to the ceiling here. I'm using Mod Podge to glue in my windows. Yeah, the sun visors here were really cool. They even got a spot here to put the mirror in. Yeah, and the mirror goes in without a hitch. Can the interior install? A little finagling, but I got it in there. Now, I don't know what happened to the footage here, but I've already installed the engine to the chassis and also painted my exhaust in the gas tank. Now, everything didn't want to fit together here properly. So, I had to pull out a couple zip ties. Works every time. Now I'm using 23 inch fat daddies for my rims and I painted the insert rose gold. I already painted up my disc brakes with the calibers. Not too scientific, just gluing time. And Tamiya panel line accent to my grill. My pods for the headlights. It's kind of hard to see them with this cloudy Mod Podge. But when they dry crystal clear, they really turned out great. Get my hoses hooked up to my engine. Just using a simple red marker here for those tail lights. Installing the front grill wasn't too bad at all. I did run into a couple challenges and start in the rear.
Now I got another repair to take care of. Some kind of way I ended up with a crack in my rear glass. Lucky for me, it split dead down the middle. And how I fixed it? I applied my pods to keep the crack from running and added decals. A couple decals that I had in my stash box and some that came in the kit. Worked out like a charm. Love that Oldsmobile sign. Added my door handles and my mirrors. And we finally done with the 71 Olds 442. The first Olds to be built on the channel. Definitely got a lot more coming when it comes to Oldsmobile. One of my favorite cars. I wish they were still in business. Building the Cutlass. I refuse to quit. Never believe in giving up. I always finish the bill. Just finish the bill. That's what I kept repeating in my head when I kept running to all these problems with this car. Just finish the bill. Finish it strong. Give it the best you got. And I turned out a fantastic product. And as you can see, the heirloom white and midnight blue goes perfect with the rose gold. And as y'all know, these are vision cars for me that I build. They have to help me manifest something I'm trying to generate in my life. And when it comes to rose gold, gold period, it's a color of power. If you're trying to manifest power in your life, everybody needs power because what is power? Power is energy. If you want more energy, you know what I'm saying? Good energy. If you want good energy around you, get you some gold. Rose gold, yellow gold, white gold, whatever you prefer, get you some gold. I tell you what, I'm not sure if it's going to be another kit like this one or the drop top 442 they got, but I want to build another one. I definitely want to build another one. Well, I really appreciate y'all hanging in with me on this build. It's a long time coming. and I got a little bonus feature for you. Shout out to my homegirl, Gabby, over there at Lionheart Vape in Borton. She's the one who gave me this display kit. She's always looking out for me. Thank you, Gabe. And the three levels is absolutely perfect. First level is going to be for the trucks. The second level is going to be for the cars. And the third level is going to be for the SUVs. It goes perfect with my diorama over here. And remember... Never give up.